Ok, on va lire deux textes et on va plonger tout de suite dans le, dans le message. We're going to start by reading two passages from the Bible and then jump into et the message. Et on va lire Romains chapitre 13. We're starting with Romans 13, 11 to 14. Euh, non, on va sauter verset okay. 14, on va juste faire 11 à 13. 11 to 13. Ok. okay. Et après on va lire 1 Thessaloniciens 5. Followed by 1 Thessalonians 5. Ok, on va les lire, on va les lire uh, tous les deux en français. As I read in French, please Je vous invite along. les anglophones à suivre en, en anglais. In English, if you wish. Okay. Romains 13, 11 à 13. Cela importe d'autant plus que vous savez en tel, quel temps nous sommes. C'est l'heure de vous réveiller, afin, enfin, du sommeil, car maintenant le salut est prêt, plus près de nous que lorsque nous avons cru. La nuit est avancée, le jour approche. Dépouillons-nous donc des œuvres des ténèbres et revêtons-nous les armes de la lumière. Marchons honnêtement. Comme en plein jour, loin des excès et de l'ivrognerie, de la luxure, de l'impudicité, des querelles et des jalousies. Ok, 1 Thessaloniciens 5, verset 6 à, à 8. Ensuite, on saute et on lit le verset 11. 1 Thessaloniciens 5, 6 à 8, et puis verset 11. « Ne dormons donc point comme les autres, mais veillons et soyons sobres. Car ceux qui dorment, dorment la nuit. » Et ceux qui s'enivrent, s'enivrent la nuit. Mais nous qui sommes du jour, soyons sobres, ayant revêtu la cuirasse de la foi et de la charité, et ayant pour casque l'espérance du salut. Verset 11. « C'est pourquoi exhortez-vous réciproquement et édifiez-vous les uns les autres, comme en réalité vous le faites. » Alors, uh, I want to talk to you today about spiritual slumber. J'aimerais vous parler aujourd'hui du sommeil spirituel. Uh, certainly, you remember the time when Jesus, uh, just before he was led to the cross. Vous vous rappelez certainement du temps où Jésus, juste avant d'aller à la croix. He, he went to the Garden of Gethsemane. Il est allé au jardin de Gethsemane. With his disciples. Avec ses disciples. Uh, if you've been to Jerusalem, hopefully you've been to that same garden. Et si vous avez déjà visité Jérusalem, vous avez sans doute uh, visité ce jardin. We're certain, I don't know, specialists have dated some of those trees to 2,000 years old. Ou quelques experts ont même découvert que certains des arbres, des oliviers, ont 2,000 ans. Which is kind of cool to think that maybe there are trees right there that were present when Jesus was praying before going to the cross. De penser que certains de ces arbres étaient peut-être présents lorsque Jésus anyway. priait. And uh, you remember he separated himself from the disciples. Alors vous vous rappelez Jésus s'est séparé des disciples. He was in great agony. Il a passé une période He was noir, actually noir, waging a spiritual war. Il était dans le combat spirituel très intense. Do you remember that? Remember his prayer. Father, if it be your will, vous vous rappelez de sa prière, Père, si c'est ta volonté, let this cup pass from me. Coupe me soit you remember that prayer? Vous vous rappelez? I mean, folks, what a dangerous prayer. Mais c'est une prière dangereuse. Do you understand the nature of that prayer? Vous comprenez la nature de cette prière? You know, now, I, I believe that, you know, Jesus was constantly divine in human flesh. Je crois que Jésus était constamment divin dans la chair humaine. But in this moment of agony, ce moment -là, the spiritual war around him le combat spirituel autour de was lui so great était tellement that there was a moment, I don't understand quite all how that works, Je comprends même pas tout ce qui but there was a moment where he questioned the ultimate purpose of his life. Il y avait même une seconde où il a mis en question le but ultime de sa vie. He had already announced to his disciples that he would be he would go to Jerusalem and die. Il l'avait déjà annoncé à ses disciples qu'il allait à Jérusalem. But here he is. He knows what is about to happen. Et voilà, il sait ce qui va se passer. And he's asking God, Lord, if there's any other way, let's do it. Il demande au Père, y a-t-il un autre moyen de faire Beloved, that's a spiritual war right Ça, there. Ça, c'est un combat spirituel. He took a break from his spiritual war because he needed a little support. De ce combat parce qu'il avait besoin de soutien. I mean, if you have ever been in a spiritual warfare in your life and you just needed somebody to reach out a hand and say, hey, I'm with you. Ça vous est arrivé de passer par le combat spirituel et Amen. sentir le besoin d'avoir quelqu'un à côté. 
You, you know what I'm talking about. Vous savez de quoi je parle? Pray, hopefully you got it. Et j'espère que vous l'avez bien reçu cette uh, I've been in a place where I didn't get it. Parfois je n'ai pas And I really ça. thought it was over for me. Et je pensais que c'était la fin. Well, Jesus was looking for that kind of support. Mais Jésus lui-même And what did he find? Qu'est-ce qu'il a trouvé? His disciples were asleep. Les disciples dormaient. He woke them up. Il les a réveillés. How, how is it that you can sleep in a time like this? Vous ne pouvez même pas veiller une heure avec moi. He says, pray that you not enter into temptation. So Jesus goes back and prays again. Again, he's battling in the spirit. The agony was so great that the Bible tells us that his sweat became like drops of blood. He comes back to his disciples. Again, needing some encouragement. Needing some, 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 some fellowship. And what's happening again? Now these are his star players. This is Peter, James, and John. They had seen they had seen Jesus walk on the water. They had seen him multiply the fish and the bread. They had seen him heal the blind and the, and, and the paralytic. They had been with him when he raised the dead. And in the moment of his greatest need, they could not resist sleeping. Three times Jesus woke them up. I'm convinced that if they had not fallen asleep, if they had been, it would, them sleeping did not alter God's plan for Jesus. Jesus still accomplished the plan. The problem was that they lost part of their reward. What happened to Peter shortly thereafter? He denied the Lord three times. How many times did he fall asleep? Three times. You think there's a link? You say, well, John followed close by. John wrote that. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, I, I, I don't think he was lying. <laughs> you know, but, you know, Matthew doesn't write that. You know. <laughs> yeah, John also writes, yes, the, the disciple that Jesus loved. John, you don't have to write that. You know, it's, kind of like, it's a little self serving, I find. Anyway, the point is this. Voici le point. When we fall asleep, Quand nous nous endormons, we become ignorant of the battle around us. Nous le combat spirituel autour de nous. Now our sleep may not alter ultimately God's plans, Notre sommeil ne va pas changer le plan de Dieu. but it will certainly affect our reward in the process. Mais notre sommeil va avoir une influence sur notre récompense. And that's why I want to talk to you this morning about being awake without fear. C'est pour cela que je veux vous parler aujourd'hui d'être éveillé et ne pas être paniqué. Okay, so Father, we just thank you for this time in your word. Merci Seigneur pour ce moment dans ta parole. And we pray God that you would speak to our hearts. Parle à nos cœurs, Seigneur. That you would release to us the spirit of wisdom and revelation. Libère pour nous l'esprit de sagesse. In all of the knowledge of Christ. De révélation dans toute la connaissance de Christ. As we sit at your feet, Jesus. Ici à tes pieds, Seigneur. And hear your word. Pour écouter ta parole. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Amen et amen. In the, in the Gospel of Matthew, Jesus quoted the prophet Isaiah. Dans l'évangile de Matthieu, Jésus a cité le prophète Isaiah. And it gives us, the, to me, what, I, what is to me the definition of spiritual slumber. Et pour moi, ce passage décrit ou donne la définition de ce okay. que c'est le sommeil spirituel. And uh, I'd like us just to read two verses, Matthew 13. Uh, verses 14 and 15, please. lire avec vous en français Matthieu 13, 14 à 15. Please follow along in English if you're reading English Bible. Et pour eux s'accomplit cette prophétie d'Esaïe. Vous entendrez de vos oreilles et vous ne comprendrez point. Vous regarderez de vos yeux et vous ne verrez point. Car le cœur de ce peuple est devenu un 
sensibles. Ils ont endurci leurs oreilles et ils ont fermé leurs yeux de peur qu'ils ne voient de leurs yeux, qu'ils n'entendent de leurs oreilles, qu'ils ne comprennent de leur cœur, qu'ils ne se convertissent ou changent et qui, que je ne les guérisse. Ok, there's basically five, a five step process here. Il y a comme un, un processus de Okay, the first thing that happens is that you're hearing something but you don't understand La it. La première chose, on entend et on ne comprend pas. Okay. It's like maybe somebody sitting here right now. Peut-être c'est le cas pour quelqu'un ici. And they're hearing these ici. words. Qui entend mes paroles. But nothing is really penetrating Mais into the heart. Mais rien ne pénètre le cœur. Okay. That, that's a sign of being spiritually asleep. C'est un signe d'être endormi spirituellement. A second thing is they see. Deuxième chose. All right, but they don't perceive. On voit sans percevoir. We see, but we don't perceive. On voit sans percevoir. In other words, you could be sitting here, you see people emotional maybe. Peut-être vous êtes assis ici, vous voyez des gens uh, émotionnels autour de vous. In a little while, we're going to invite people to come forward for prayer. Alors, dans un instant, nous allons inviter les gens And qui God's going to do miracles. Dieu fera des miracles. All kinds of miracles. You'll see it. But you won't perceive that God is at work. Mais vous n'allez pas percevoir Does that make que sense? Dieu est à l'œuvre. It's like, how many people can see the conflict in Ukraine right now? Qui sont ceux qui voient de leurs yeux le conflit dans l'Ukraine? But they're completely blind to what God is doing. Mais qui sont totalement aveuglés à ce que Dieu fait dans ce conflit. Do you see what I mean? See, that's a sign of being spiritually asleep. C'est un signe d'être endormi spirituellement. Okay. The third thing. Troisième chose. You close your eyes. On ferme les yeux. Okay, this is really the moment of abandoning Ça, to the sleep. Le moment de it's the moment that you say, ah, it's dit. not worth it anymore to fight. Le moment où le cœur dit, bon, c'est pas la peine de faire la, le combat. Okay. Um, you know, it's, it's a joy having two babies, grandbabies. C'est toujours une joie d'avoir deux petits enfants de bas âge. And uh, what we have found... Et nous avons trouvé is when the babies when, when you know David and Rihanna are at the house and the babies are there les moments où David et Rihanna sont à la maison it's like they don't want to go to sleep les enfants n'ont pas envie de dormir you know because there's stuff happening they want to be a part ils veulent faire partie they're de ce qui se passe they're both very kind of socially connected ils veulent rester connectés you know and especially <laughs> Joshua you know he's a little Surtout fighter Josué et Mise and man I tell you you think you think it was the end of the world on pense que c'est la fin du monde quand and on then, le met and then, lit and then suddenly it's like mais tout d'un coup, il n'en peut plus. Et il s'en va. Et il est boum, il est Et vraiment, il hein, ne peut plus résister au sommeil. Il ne peut plus résister au sommeil. Ok, c'est l'image de cette troisième phase. You know, so, first, our hearing is affected. Première chose, l'ouïe. Then, our seeing is affected. Deuxième, la vue. And then, at some point, it's like our soul Deuxième just chose, turns off. Notre âme s'éteint. And we stop fighting. Et on arrête de se battre. Several years ago, I was invited to preach a, uh, in, at a church way over on the west coast of the U.S. Il y a quelques années de cela, j'ai été invité à prêcher dans une église sur le côte ouest. And I, loin. you know, it's like a 10-hour flight. Un vol de 12 heures. So it's like being awake for 24 hours, no sleep. Donc le corps est réveillé sans sommeil pendant 24 heures. Then I had heures. to rent a car and drive four hours. Après, il fallait louer la voiture et faire un trajet and de that, heures. And then I get to a town. That's where I was going to sleep. J'arrive dans la ville. And then the next morning, I'd go to the final destination. Et le lendemain, continuer jusqu'au bout. So when I got to that first stop, donc arrivé à ce premier endroit, I remembered endroit, that I had met a pastor that has a church in that city. Je me rappelais que je connaissais un pasteur dans cette ville. And I looked it up and uh, they had a prayer meeting that night. Sur internet et y avait une and de it was prayer. going to start in an hour. Qui dans une heure. So I took a shower real je quick. I was so tired. Mais But I just thought, I, I want to connect. Oh, so I went to this church. Je suis allé and I happened to see the réunion. pastor just before the meeting started. Le juste avant le début He was de la thrilled réunion. to see me. Il était trop so content I did de okay voir. during the praise and worship. Bon, la louange, debout, tout bien. And then the Spirit of God really moved in the place. Et après, le a agi and dans the le pastor place. invited everybody to get on their knees. Et le uh, le <laughs> I tell you, as soon as my forehead hit that carpet, boom, I was gone. 
parti. I, I was just gone. Non, mais parti. Je n'étais plus And là. I, I think I was actually snoring at one point. Parce que je ronflais même. Because you know, I was on my knees. J'étais à genoux. And just face contre terre, contre un mauvais. <laughs> And then suddenly, in the fog of my mind, dans le brouillard de ma pensée, I hear the pa- I hear the pastor in the microphone saying my name. Le pasteur dans le micro qui dit mon nom. And then, and then somebody's like, "Is that you? Is that you?" C'est toi, c'est toi qui I go, oh, yeah, what? What? And he goes, "Come on up, Robert." Allez, viens, Robert. Go, what? What? Viens nous saluer. And uh, so he said, you know, give a testimony. I was like, give a testimony. I don't know who I am. I don't know where I am. He's kind of like, what, what am I doing here? Okay. It was so embarrassing. I think that, and then they received an offering for our ministry. Anyway, it was, it was one of the most generous offerings I've ever gotten. I think people just felt, felt pity for me. <laughs> On peut dire que les gens avaient yeah, we better help this young oh, man out a little bit. Oh, okay, but you know that sometimes you know how sleep is just Mais so strong you can't resist it. Okay, listen, there is a spiritual sleep that is just that strong. Il y a un sommeil spirituel aussi fort. And and you know when we look at the, the example of the disciples in the garden. Et quand on voit l'exemple des disciples dans le jardin. Yeah, they they were physically exhausted. C'est vrai, ils étaient physiquement. You know this, that that week right before the crucifixion. The fiction was, was just so, I mean, C'est great, intense. you know, in terms of miracles and de teachings and confronting the Pharisees, but, de confrontation avec les Pharisiens, you know, etc. these guys were exhausted. But listen, it was more than that. Plus que cela. There was a spiritual element in Il their sleep. Un élément spirituel dans ce sommet. And Jesus knew it. Et Jésus le savait. Can I tell you, I, I believe in many ways there's been like a spiritual slumber over the body of Christ. Je crois que ce sommet spirituel a envahi le corps de Christ. Now there are some exceptions, Il praise God. Exceptions, merci Seigneur. But worldwide, Mais there's been like a spirit of slumber. Entier. C'est comme un okay. esprit de sommeil and, uh, a couvert I, I, I le corps de Christ. I don't want to go too far down that Donc, explanation. Trop, trop expliquer cela. Because uh, I really want to get into how do we wake up. Parce que pour moi, je veux parler okay. de comment se réveiller. Um, I don't know, maybe in another venue, the Lord allow us to just kind of look at that On va more, regarder more cela carefully. But there's really, the, the Bible also talks about spiritual drunkenness. La Bible parle également de l'ivresse spirituelle. And to, to me, spiritual drunkenness and spiritual slumber are identical. Pour moi, c'est deux choses identiques. Okay. Sommeil spirituel, they, they have different sources. Qui viennent de deux sources différentes. Okay, peut-être. but the, the result is the same. Et le résultat, c'est le même. We don't see anymore. On voit plus. Excuse me, we don't, we don't hear anymore. Plus. We don't On see anymore. Plus. We've closed our eyes. The heart gets hard. Le cœur s'endurcit. And there's no longer divine interaction. Il y a plus cette interaction divine. I want you to just think for just a second about your own spiritual life. Pensez deux secondes. Okay, if you've à been a Christian for a certain number of years, surtout si vous êtes chrétien depuis certainly, certainly you've experienced spiritual slumber. Vous avez sans doute vécu une période de sommeil spirituel quelque part dans votre vie chrétienne. You know what I mean? It's like you, 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 you maybe you, you come to church, but it's like I don't hear anything. Vous êtes à l'église, mais vous ne voyez pas. I, I don't see d'autres. anything. Vous ne voyez pas ce qui passe dans l'esprit. And, and then you get to the point it's like why go? Why even go? Et après, why bother? La question se pose, mais pourquoi aller au culte si je ne reçois rien? Home. I'll watch YouTube. You know, I'll, I'll watch a pastor that's more handsome than Robert. Yeah, most are actually. You know, somebody's more anointed. You know, bigger church, more sophisticated. You know what I'm talking about. You know, I, I, that's what you do. I know that. You don't have to look down at the floor. <laughs> You know, somebody's like, who, me? <laughs> But that's okay. It's all right. All right? It doesn't bother me, okay? I, I've got a job to do. I'm doing my job. I mean, you've got a job to do, too. Just make sure you're doing your job. Assurez-vous que vous faites votre travail, les amis. Amen.
Amen. That you're faithful to God. Que vous demeurez I know I'm faithful to God. All right. Just make sure you're faithful to God. Assurez-vous de demeurer Hallelujah. fidèle Amen. à Dieu et son um, appel. But this is the problem. We, we get into that place. The ears can't hear. The eyes can't see. Finally, we surrender to the sleep. And in that place, the heart becomes hard. And we lose that divine spark. We get to the point where we say, I know I should read my Bible. But, uh, it's like eating spinach with no salad dressing. It's like, ah. Uh. Uh, who wants to do that? So, anyway. And that, that's the problem. So how do we wake up? All right, how do we wake up? All right, let me give you six things that I think will help Six astuces pour vous aider. Um, oh, Jesus. Yeah, we could talk about that ouais, maybe. On pu de we ça might aussi. go back to that. On va y Genesis chapter 28, verse 16. Genèse 28, verse 16. It's the first example in the Bible. C'est la première, le premier exemple that, dans la Bible that relates to a story about a man who wakes up. Qui raconte l'histoire de quelqu'un qui se réveille. Fascinating. C'est fascinant. Now we know people slept. Parce que nous savons que les gens. As a matter of fact, the first dormir. time anybody slept, it was God's fault. Well, God's fault. It was God's doing. La première fois qu'un homme s'est endormi, c'était finalement à cause de Dieu. Can anybody remember endormi. the first man who slept in the Bible? Qui est le premier homme qui s'est endormi? Adam, yeah, God Adam, made sleep come Dieu upon him. Very interesting. It leaves us to wonder if man didn't have to sleep before sin. C'est intéressant. Peut-être avant le péché, l'homme n'avait pas besoin de dormir. Interesting. Mm. Maybe in the resurrection we will just not sleep. Et peut-être même une fois ressuscité, anyway, on n'a pas besoin thought. de dormir. But actually, Jacob in Genesis 28, Jacob is the first man that actually wakes up from from sleep. En Genèse 28, the Bible talks about it. Jacob, le premier homme. And, and you'll remember it. It's the time when he he wrestles with God. C'est après le moment qu'il a lutté avec Dieu. He falls asleep in that place. Il s'endort dans cet endroit. And in his sleep, he sees a vision of a, of a ladder reaching to heaven. Et dans son sommeil, il voit cette vision d'une okay. échelle. Okay. Remember that story. And on the ladder, he sees angels coming et and going. Et voit les anges qui montent et qui descendent. And the Bible says, et la Bible dit ceci. When Jacob awoke from his sleep, Jacob de son he sommeil. said to himself, Et il se dit, God was in this place and I didn't know it. Était dans ce lieu, mais wow. je ne le pas. Okay, so oh. here's, here's a great example of somebody who wakes up voilà, from donc, spiritual slumber. Exemple, un homme qui se de son spirituel. He didn't, he was wrestling with a man il avait lutté and had un no idea il that it, it was an angel. Même pas que Actually, un ange. I think it was Jesus himself. Pre-incarnate Jesus. Le, avant d'être incarné. How would you like to have an actual wrestling match with Jesus himself? Vous aimeriez bien faire de la boxe avec Jésus lui-même? Wow. Oh là là. And and live to tell about it. Et vivre après. Okay. Anyway. Pour raconter l'histoire. And and so Jacob is like the first man Donc in the voilà. Bible who wakes up from spiritual slumber. Jacob est le premier homme qui se réveille. And the first thing he says. Spirituel est la première chose qu'il dit. Wow. God was here. Dieu était là. And I didn't even know Et je it. Ne le savais pas. See, that's what happens when we wake up from spiritual slumber. Ça qui se Have you ever noticed you, you don't know when you're actually sleeping? Vous avez remarqué que vous ne savez pas exactement quand vous, vous dormez. You just know you have been sleeping when you wake vous up. Vous savez seulement que vous avez dormi au moment où vous vous réveillez. You know, it's not like you have a dream. Pas comme faire un rêve. And in the dream, you say to yourself, Et dans le rêve, se dire, uh, don't worry, Robert, it's just a dream. You're, you're sleeping. Pas, Robert, ce rêve. Tu dors. 
Ça n'arrive jamais. You, you don't think that way. On ne pense pas de cette you façon. live that dream okay. as if it was reality. On vit les rêves comme une réalité, n'est-ce pas? You have emotion. You, you wake sometimes if, you, if, you, if it's a scary dream or hard, you wake up in a sweat. Et si c'est un rêve effrayant, on se réveille en sueur. Okay. Par exemple. Why? Because you are Pourquoi? living that dream Parce as though it was a reality. Le rêve comme une réalité. Your mind makes no distinction. La pensée, le cerveau ne peut pas faire la distinction. And how many people are going to places uh, that they call a church this morning Combien de personnes assistent à un endroit appelé église And they're all asleep Tous endormis And all they're getting is enough music Juste to help them enjoy the spiritual slumber they're in. They're having some nice dreams along the way that they think are reality. That it's only when God awakes them out of their slumber do they actually realize that they were actually sleeping the whole time. How many are here right now sleeping and you don't even know it yet? Peut-être combien sont là présents en train de dormir sans le savoir? The thing that, that I take from this story of Jacob La chose que j'ai retenu de ce récit de Jacob is is simply that decision to wake up C'est une décision and have an appointment with God. De se réveiller et de se fixer à un rendez-vous avec Dieu. I'm going to have an appointment with God, est, period. Est décidé, je vais faire mon rendez-vous avec Dieu, point. I may need to wrestle to get there. Peut-être il faudra lutter un peu pour y arriver. I may have to fight to get there. Peut-être il faut me battre pour y arriver. But I refuse to live my life Mais je refuse de vivre separate from encounters with God. Séparément de ces rencontres quotidiennes avec Dieu. Can I tell you the first thing that has to happen with you and I? C'est la première chose que toi. Is that we become discontent? Que nous devenions of living without divine encounter. De vivre sans des rencontres divines. Are Mais you with amour. me? Amen. And listen, don't make it an option to go to a place that's called a church. Ne vous dites pas que c'est facultatif d'aller à Where they preach divine encounters stopped with the last on apostle. l'église où l'église prêche oh ce genre de rencontre s'est arrêté avec les apôtres. Mais c'est faux. That is so that is a false doctrine of devils. Fausse, There's only one répondre. that wants you to believe God doesn't have divine encounters. Il y a un seul qui veut que vous croyez And that is the ça devil ne himself. C'est le diable lui-même. That is the ultimate lie. C'est le mensonge ultime. When you start thinking Quand vous commencez God à doesn't penser, love me enough to come to and meet me. Dieu ne m'aime pas suffisamment pour venir à ma rencontre. That is a lie from the pit of hell. Amen. And if you've given any place in your soul to that lie, hallelujah, in just a few moments, you're going to have an opportunity to come forward and get rid of that lie once and for all. Amen. Hallelujah. Get rid of that. Vous en débarrassez. God sent Jesus 2,000 years ago to die for you. That's what he thinks of you. Vous. Voilà ce qu'il pense de vous. Il est prêt à donner sa vie. That's what he thinks about you. Voilà Every single day. De vous, Every jours. minute of the day. Toute de tout. Your God, your creator, votre Dieu, your votre father créateur, in heaven, votre père au ciel, he wants to meet with you like you can't even begin to imagine. Comme vous ne pouvez même pas imagine. Okay, number two. Let's look at this. Psalm 57. Dans le psaume 57. Verse 8. Verse 8 en anglais, verse 9 en Louis II. I'm not sure. It's nine in Louis II, not my Louis II. Uh, bah, okay. Bah, chez moi, c'est le... C'est huit ou neuf. Ah. Tu vois? Ooh, you've got a bad Louis II. Oh, uh, okay. Tu m'achètes une autre? Oui. Okay. Psaume 57. Réveille-toi, mon âme. Réveillez-vous, mon lutte et ma harpe. Je réveillerai l'aurore. Je te louerai parmi les peuples, Seigneur. Je te chanterai parmi les nations. Car ta bonté atteint jusqu'aux cieux et ta fidélité jusqu'au nu. OK, you see that first phrase, « Réveille-toi, mon âme. Awake, O oh my soul. » Le début. 
All right, the word soul in the Hebrew is the word kabod. Ah, mon âme. En hébreu, c'est le même mot que kabod. And uh, if you know any Hebrew, Et si vous connaissez l'hébreu, you, you know that kabod is, is, is actually translated glory. Kabod est le mot pour gloire. So, uh, uh, he, hear what David's saying. Donc, écoutez bien. He's saying to himself, il se dit, Hey, me. Hey, toi, écoute. Wake up. Réveille-toi. And then he says, Et ensuite, il dit, Hey, my glory. Hey, ma gloire. Wake up as well. Réveille-toi aussi. When was the last time you got up in the morning quand, la fois que vous vous êtes and matin, you spoke to your glory et vous avez parlé à votre gloire, and you said to your glory et vous avez dit à votre hey glory, hey, get up. Gloire, écoute, You're not staying in bed today. Tu restes pas au lit You've got a job tu to do today. Tu as un à faire I need you today, glory. De toi, gloire. <laughs> said, oh, come on, Rob. Oh, oh Pastor Rob. Yeah, you're getting it a little... Woo. You've been wearing that mask for too long. It's tu portes ton, tu portes trop longtemps. Lack of oxygen has Manque gone to your brain. Avec ton cerveau. Okay, you're getting hallucinations now. Tu à halluciner, But this là. is what David is actually Mais saying. David est en train de dire ça I know that's not our language. Je sais que cela fait pas our language is, you know, we live for the glory of God. Pour la oh God, de let Dieu. your glory arise. And yeah, 100%, I'm agree. But vrai. that's just not what he Says. He says, wake up my glory. You, you know, one of the reasons why we have a hard time waking up in the morning, we have no good reason to. Sleep feels better than life. Le sommeil semble être mieux que la vie. Is that true? It got awfully quiet. Ooh, tout à coup, silence total dans la salle. <laughs> Listen, I, I totally, I totally understand Je that. Cela. I totally do. Je le you know, I, I know, man. Some life is sometimes really hard. Je sais que la vie est dure. And and I wish I could tell you. That, that by Wednesday, everybody here is going to have a miracle and it's going to get a lot better. You know? I don't have that revelation. I have that hope, but I don't have a revelation. And when you look at the natural, at the economy and everything, it more than likely is going to get worse for everybody. Okay? But, and I don't say that to alarm anybody. Just, pour vous faire peur. But sometimes, you know, you wake up in the morning and you just think, I'd just rather stay in bed. Mais parfois, c'est tout à fait humain de se réveiller le matin et dire, je préfère. You know, I'm, I'm sure you've heard the story of the man who woke, woke up on Sunday morning. Vous avez déjà entendu l'histoire de cet homme qui s'est réveillé. His mother knock, but he went back to sleep. Dimanche matin, il regarde son réveil, il s'endort. And his mother knocks on the door. Et sa mère frappe à la porte. And says, son. Hey, fiston. It's Sunday morning. You need to get up. Il faut te réveiller. Oh, leave me alone, Mom. I want to sleep in today. She knocks on the door a few minutes later. Son, it's time to get up. You need to get to church. Oh, Mom, leave me alone. Don't bother me with all that church stuff. They're a bunch of hypocrites anyway. Ain't nobody in that church loves me anyway. Just let me sleep. A few minutes later, the mother knocks on the door again. Son, you need to get up and go to church. So now he's angry. He realizes he's not going to sleep anyway. He says, well, just give me one good reason why I should go to that church. And she shouts back at her son. Because you're the pastor. Okay. It's a serious subject. I just had to throw in a little humor there. 
Parce que nous traitons But, à listen, Sunday. I understand. There are Sundays I get up and I don't want to come to church. Il y a même des dimanches où je me réveille okay. et je n'ai pas forcément envie de venir. You know, and, and, and you're not hypocrites, okay? And Mais I love every one of you. And, you know, don't make a parallel with that ne story. Ne faites pas le parallèle. It's just simply understand what that's like. Mais je comprends à quoi ça Sometimes ressemble. sleep feels better than life. Parfois, le sommeil... And I think this is why, for David, he had tough times too. But things were at times very difficult in his life. And I, and I really believe at some point he, he, he got to that point where he had to speak to all of the blessings in his life. He had to find the reason to wake up. Il a dû retrouver la raison de se lever. I think that's what he's talking about here. De ça parle, en fait. What's your reason for getting up? Est la raison pour laquelle tu and, and I want to encourage you because this is number two. We've got six points here, so we'll go fast. Sur cela. To me, seulement this is like, like probably the most crucial point. Mais le point central de tout ce que you know, when you go to sleep dire. at night, Quand vous, vous couchez la are nuit. you thinking about all the things you didn't get done? Est-ce que vous pensez à toutes les choses que vous n'avez pas pu faire? About all of the things that are not going well? Toutes les choses qui ne vont pas bien? Or are you already dreaming about the good things that will happen the next day? Ou est-ce que vous rêvez déjà des belles choses qui vont se produire le lendemain? You see, because that will determine how you wake up in the morning. Ça qui va vous allez vous le and I really encourage you, just change your habits before Changer you go to sleep. Vos avant de vous and make sure when you go to sleep, you have a good reason to get up in the morning. Assurez-vous que chaque nuit, avant de poser la tête sur le vous avez une and let raison. that be your final thought. Et que cela soit votre dernière pensée. You know, Sunday morning before you leave the house to come to the to, to church. Aussi le dimanche matin avant you know, de venir ici. what is your thought? Quelle est votre Are pensée? you thinking about how long it's going to take in transport? Est-ce que vous pensez au trajet combien? Are you thinking about how much gasoline you're going to burn and how expensive that's going to be now? Ça va coûter Are maintenant? you thinking about the fact that you're part of one of the service teams? Ou si vous êtes au service, dans and you've got a lot of responsibilities today. Or vous, are you thinking about the glory? Pensez-vous à la gloire de Dieu qui se manifeste? That maybe today God's going to speak to you. Et du fait que peut-être Dieu va vous parler. That there might be something in the message just for you. Quelque chose dans la prédication juste. You know that maybe something that you need to happen in your life will happen. Happen today. Or, or, even, or even better, maybe God will use you to touch somebody else in the service. Are, are, you, are you seeing what I'm talking about? What is the reason? And, and beloved, if we know what the reason is, Parce que si vous connaissez la raison we will pour always vous find the là. strength to resist the spiritual slumber. Vous trouverez toujours la force de résister au sommeil spirituel. Okay, Alléluia. real quick, let's, let's look at number three. Rapidement, numéro trois. Uh, meditate on the word of God during rather than current affairs. Méditez plutôt la parole de Dieu plus que les actualités. Just note this reference, Proverbs 6.22. Notez bien, Proverbs 6.22. Uh, Solomon, he tells his son this. It's, it's so good. Salomon dit ceci à son fils. He says, now, if you will meditate fils on the word, he talks about his precepts, but we can use the, the, the term, the word of God. Si seulement tu médites mes préceptes, la parole de Dieu, d'autres termes, He says, they will speak to you in the morning. Ils te dirigeront, ils te parleront le matin. Oh. À ton réveil. I love that. Oh, j'aime trop. You know, if, so, so, like, this afternoon, if you will meditate on the word this afternoon. Donc, cet après-midi chez vous. If you'll meditate it before you go to bed, when you wake up, that word will speak to you. Hallelujah. Listen, I understand sometimes like in the morning, you're in a rush to get to work, and maybe, you know, you, don't, you can't take two hours to study the Bible. Okay, so I get that. But, but wouldn't it be wonderful to wake up in the morning? And you've got so much word in your soul. It's like a, um, a, a book on cassette, on, on video, on 
on recorder. You know, it's just, it's, it's like you've got this recording going on in your brain. C'est comme l'enregistrement de la parole. You know, Tout the word is speaking cerveau. to you. So you wake la up your eyes. Parle. You open your eyes in the morning and the word Vous is speaking to you. Boom. La parole Woo. vous parle tout de suite. Hallelujah, amen. Woo. Praise God. And I, I guarantee you, you know, the disciples, when they fell asleep in the garden, Et je vous assure, quand les disciples se sont endormis, they were not meditating on the word of the Lord. Ils ne méditaient pas la parole de Dieu. They were meditating on current affairs. Ils méditaient plutôt les actualités, les circonstances. You know, even, even Christians, one of the last things they'll do in the day, même pour les chrétiens, certains, la dernière chose qu'ils font la journée, is watch the 8 o'clock news. C'est regarder les infos. And you wonder why your sleep is not good. Et vous vous demandez pourquoi le sommeil n'est pas très profond. I'm not saying, you, you know, that watching the news is evil Je or sinful or whatever. Je dis pas que regarder les infos, okay. c'est du péché. C'est pas But ça. There's a great uh, saying il y a un, garbage in, garbage out. un dicton qui dit ordure rentre, ordure sort. Hallelujah or oulala. Ok, number four. Numéro quatre. This will surprise you. Ça va vous étonner. Drink new wine. Buvez du vin nouveau. Drink new wine. Now, this shocked me. Ça m'a choqué en fait. But wine, new wine. Le vin nouveau, that le comes vin from the Lord qui vient du Seigneur, keeps us from falling asleep. Nous empêche de dormir. The wine from this world Mais le vin de ce causes us to fall asleep. Nous fait dormir. But the wine from heaven Mais le vin du ciel wakes us up. It's Où amazing. Allez? Joel chapter 1 verse, verse 5 Joel 1, 5 en parle. Do you want to read that real quick, please? Oui, uh, Although I don't like the Louis II translation. Bon, c'est Louis II. Réveillez-vous, ivrogne, et pleurez, vous tous, buveurs de vin, gémissez, parce que le mou, ou le vin nouveau, vous êtes enlevé de la bouche. Yes, because the new wine has been taken away from parce you. Parce que le vin nouveau a été enlevé. So you say, what is the new wine? Oh, bah alors, c'est quoi le vin okay. nouveau? Okay, well, Ephesians 5, we're not going to read it, but just please make a note. On va pas le lire, mais notez bien, Ephesians 5. 5, 8. 18 and 19 tells us, don't be drunk with, with wine of this world, but be filled with the Holy Spirit. And then he says, speaking in hymns and spiritual songs and singing and, and making melody in your heart to the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. You know, sometimes people criticize us. Oh, you guys and presence of God. And you need to be more serious. And, and, and I wonder what do they do with Ephesians 5, 18 and 19? Ephesians 5, 18, 19. You know, what did they do with Acts chapter 2? Where the disciples were so filled with the Holy Spirit. Those who were deaf. Those who were blind. Those with a hard heart. They said, oh, they're drunk. They were, I, I don't know what the, how they were acting. You know, but Mais they were having a party. On, on va dire ils Amen. La, ils they, they were genuinely excited about something. Ils de chose. Come on. You know, oui. ha, ha, have you ever been to, I don't know, uh, a cemetery? Ça vous est arrivé de visiter un cemetery? This might not be a good example today, but. Pas un bon exemple aujourd'hui. Um, but you know, you're not going to look at that and say, oh man, they're drunk. On va pas regarder une cimetière et dire oh tout le monde est enivré. No, you're like oh no they're serious it's no, solemn tout it's, le monde est sobre, it's respectful sérieux, it's respectueux. a little bit of sadness but Il y a un peu de honor chagrin, un peu de tristesse. you know the, the times you're going to say oh these people are drunk. Mais quand on dit it's because they're just kind of acting wild. Enivré, parce sont un If peu somebody sauvage. walked in right now. <laughs> Si quelqu'un entre, nobody he wouldn't say oh you're all drunk. Et observe cette assemblée, il va pas dire oh vous êtes tous enivrés. No, he wouldn't say that. 
Because you're sitting like really good people. You know, just good. Bien sage. Yeah, like I said, bien sage. <laughs> you know, you're not bothering anybody. You're being respectful. Some of you are even taking notes. Amazing. See, nobody's going to say, oh, you guys are drunk. <laughs> so how would you have to act for people to think that you were drunk? <laughs> now, I have to be transparent. I've never been drunk with alcohol ever in my life. Not once. Not even as an unbeliever. Never. Never in my life. I've been drunk in the spirit. Dans l'esprit, oui, mais but pas never drunk with, with natural substances, okay? Même étant never been voyant. high, never did drugs, jamais de la drogue, jamais trop never smoked certain passage, things. So, fumé. you know, my, 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 my soul is pretty clean. Donc, on peut dire que mon âme est préservée ou propre. So I don't know how to act drunk. Alors, je ne sais pas faire semblant d'être enivré. I don't know what that looks like. Je ne sais même pas à quoi ça ressemble. So, I, I can't give you a definition. Donc je ne peux pas le I can't give you an example. Because I've exemple. never experienced that. Je ne vécu but I have been under the power of the Holy Spirit contre, vécu des moments so sous much la plus that I lost all control. Perdu tout le control. I lost all sense of dignity. Tout I didn't care what anybody thought. I was laughing like a hyena. I was rolling on the ground Je like a, like an. And if you had seen that, you would say, "Put him in a psychiatric hospital." <laughs> I've been there. Now I don't know if that would be like drunk. But I can tell you, I was so sensitive to what was going on in the spirit realm. I can honestly say my brain was more in the spirit realm than in the natural realm. And we are commanded in the New Testament to be like that. <laughs> it's a commandment <laughs> along with love your brother avec aimer you know, forgive one another submit yourselves to one another in the love of Christ it's all part of the same commandment to be so filled with the spirit you know, can I just tell you, we are, we are just too used to dehydration in the spirit. Nous sommes trop habitués à la déshydratation spirituelle. C'est vrai. Whew. Maybe we need to just get free after this. Amen. Amen. Peut-être il faut être libéré de tout ça. Qu'est-ce que vous en pensez? Okay, real quick, we'll do two things and then we'll do our altar call. Okay? Okay, number five, build relationships with those who are already awake. Construisez des relations avec ceux qui sont réveillés. One of the things that you will find is people who are spiritually asleep Une chose que vous allez découvrir, des gens qui sont endormis spirituellement well, chercheront d'autres qui sont également endormis. Birds of a feather will always flock together. Oh, what's the Ceux qui se semblent se rassemblent. Voilà. Tu as bien étudié les dictons. Okay. Always. Mais toujours. So if people who are asleep are coming around you. Donc, si les gens endormis s'approchent de vous. <laughs> Hello. C'est signe de quoi? Hello. 
maybe it's time you better get awake, okay? Maybe, maybe, maybe that's a sign. Okay, uh, Paul writes to Corinthians, you can flash it on the screen, 1 Corinthians 15, 33. Uh, don't be deceived, evil communications corrupt good manners. And then he says, wake up. When you, when you hang around people who are spiritually asleep, quand vous fréquentez les gens endormis, you will fall asleep as well. Vous allez vous endormir aussi. Now, listen, it, it, it's perfectly okay to have people who are still in the world that you have a level, a level of friendship with. Donc, ça va si vous avez des amitiés avec des gens du monde. But I would say just a superficial um, uh, friendship. Je dirais, gardez plutôt une amitié okay. superficielle. Okay, but when that friendship goes to a depth, Mais, quand cette amitié atteint une okay. profondeur, and they don't come to Christ immediately, et cette personne ne vient pas tout de suite à Christ, they will pull you into spiritual cette slumber. personne peut vous attirer vers ce sommeil spirituel. Automatically. Mais automatiquement, c'est normal. Okay, it's a spirit. Parce que un They're not trying to make it happen. Pas la qui essaie but the spirit there is trying Mais to make it happen. Dans la okay. est à Now again, it's good to have contacts with people in the world. Des contacts, des avec If les we don't, monde. how will they hear of Christ? Si on a pas ça, on are, are you hearing me? Okay. But if you are new in the Lord, si vous êtes dans le and Seigneur, you still have close friends who are in the world, et vous les profondes, très avec les gens du as, monde, as you follow Jesus, vous allez Jesus, it will affect those friendships. Ça va les Either they will come to Christ, Vont vous suivre, or they will make Christ, distance with you. It's normal. It's natural. Normal, If it's not happening, si it means pas. you're compromising your faith. Ça veut dire que vous comprenez okay, and sooner or later, you are going to fall asleep. Okay. Do you understand what I mean by that? Okay. Now, So hopefully you'll, you'll, God will give you wisdom how to make that a balance. Dieu va vous donner la sagesse pour trouver l'équilibre. And the very last exhortation that the Bible gives us la dernière exhortation que regarding la Bible waking up concernant ce fait de is se réveiller just to make a good use of your time. C'est simplement bien utiliser votre temps. Okay, Ephesians, again, in, in Ephesians uh, chapter 5, verse 14. Ephesians 5, verse 14. Uh, wake you that are asleep and arise from the dead and Christ shall give you light uh, verse 16 redeem the time because the days are evil verse 14 et verse 16 réveille toi toi qui dors réveille relève toi d'entre les morts et Christ t'éclairera et rachetez le temps car les jours sont mauvais there's just something when, when you don't have a disciplined lifestyle it's harder to resist sleep c'est beaucoup plus difficile à résister à ce sommeil Amen. spirituel it just is And, and there's just something about really mastering your time Il de maîtriser son temps. that helps build a resistance to sleep. Et ça qui va vous aider à okay. à ce now, you know, I, I, we, I get up very early in the mornings now for several years. Et ça, depuis des années. But it requires that I go to bed early. Ce qui m'oblige de me discipliner le soir pour okay. me coucher à l'heure. You know, there was a time that you know I would go to bed after midnight. Il fut un temps où je me couchais souvent après minuit. Uh, and God never told me, son, please sleep later in the mornings. It's Et better. Et Dieu m'a jamais dit, bah dors plus tard le matin. It's amazing. Every time God would speak to me, chaque fois Dieu me parlait. It parler, would be a challenge to get up earlier. C'était un défi, mais réveille-toi le matin. Réveille-toi plus tôt. You know, every, every time. Chaque fois il m'a défié. You know, I mean, this morning. <laughs> I was up at 3:30. Ce matin, par exemple, je me réveillais à 3h30. So, which means that before I actually got up to preach. Donc, ce qui veut dire qu'avant de prêcher le message. Okay, I had already worked nearly the equivalent of a full day. J'avais travaillé pendant presque l'équivalent d'une journée de travail. Now that is a lot of prayer investment into this message. C'est-à-dire qu'il y a beaucoup de prière okay. et de temps investi dans ce message. Can you message. imagine for a moment the result if I had slept until 9:30? Mais maintenant, imaginez le résultat si j'avais dormi jusqu'à 9h30. Do you think the, the, the impact would be the same? Est-ce que ça donnerait le même impact? The words could be the same. 
Les mêmes paroles peut-être. But the spiritual impact would have been Mais different. l'impact spirituel n'est pas le même. So I'm just saying, master your time. Maîtrisez donc votre Don't temps. Don't allow your time to master you. Et ne permettez pas à ce que votre temps vous And maîtrise. And you will discover that the chose. discipline of mastering your time. La discipline de maîtriser votre temps. And listen, that in, in all things. Dans tous les domaines. If you make an appointment with somebody. Si par exemple vous prenez rendez-vous. You're always five minutes avec early. Avec you're never five minutes late it's a question of mastering your time see what happens then you build into your lifestyle a resistance to sleep now if I needed to I could stay up until one o'clock in the morning and still function Du matin et fonctionner encore. I can force, uh, not a lot, but I could do that. Je, je okay, faire, if, if it was needed. Si besoin. Because the discipline is there. Parce que la discipline existe déjà. Okay, are you with me? Vous People vous who have no discipline, les gens sont en discipline, when they're tired, quand ils sont fatigués, oh qu'est-ce my qu'ils goodness, font? watch oh out. Oh là là là, attention. <laughs> they're, they get angry. Ils s'irritent facilement. Uh, they're frustrated. Ils sont facilement frustrés. They, they have outbursts. Uh, ils s'énervent. They're disagreeable. Ils sont désagréables. Because they're tired. Pourquoi? Parce qu'ils sont fatigués. Ah, oh, je suis <laughs> juste fatigué, désolé. <laughs> On entend souvent. No, that's a lack of discipline. Non, 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 c'est pas la fatigue, c'est, la, c'est le manque Don't de discipline. Don't blame the lack of sleep. Ne blâmez pas le manque de sommeil. Blame the lack of discipline. Blâmez le manque de discipline. Don't say, oh, I'm just tired. Ne dites pas, oh, je suis Say, oh, I'm sorry, I'm just very undisciplined in my life. Dites plutôt, confessez la vérité, je, je manque de discipline dans ma vie, voilà. That would be more accurate. Ça, c'est plus transparent. Okay, let's uh, stand to our feet, please. Devons-nous tous, s'il vous plaît. So... No more sleeping saints. Plus de saints endormis. Can you say amen to that? Amen. Okay, well, half of you are still sleeping. Bon, la moitié sont so. toujours endormis. <laughs> Qu'est-ce qu'on va faire? No more ça? sleeping saints. Plus de saints qui dorment. Yeah. Okay, we're getting there. On y arrive. Okay. Hallelujah. Okay. Can I ask our prayer teams to come up, please? Je vais demander à l'équipe de prière de s'approcher. Hallelujah. Hey, Laurie, s'il vous plaît. Pas trop doux, on ne veut pas endormir. On veut no, pas endormir. <laughs> on ne va Alléluia. pas vous bercer. Hein? Ne venez pas ici pour être bercé. <laughs> Alléluia. OK, if you are feeling like you are in a state of spiritual slumber right now, si vous avez l'impression d'être dans un état de sommeil spirituel uh, maintenant, and you, can't, you just can't seem to find the grace to wake up. Et vous ne trouvez pas encore cette grâce pour okay, vous réveiller. OK, then I want you to, in just a moment, I'm going to invite you to leave your seat and come forward and, and, and let's just pray together. Dans un instant, je vais vous inviter à vous approcher et recevoir la prière. Also, too, if you're here today and you've never surrendered your life fully to Jesus. Aussi, si vous êtes ici aujourd'hui et vous n'avez okay. jamais donné votre vie entièrement à that Jésus. That is the ultimate spiritual slumber. Ça c'est le sommeil spirituel ultime. And I want I want to invite you Jésus. this morning to come forward and allow Jesus to become the Lord of your life. Et à faire de Jésus-Christ le Seigneur de votre vie. Okay? And that goes for those who have been walking with God and have fallen away. Même Pour ceux qui ont marché avec Dieu à un moment donné, mais qui sont éloignés. And this is a day that you are coming C'est back to Christ. Le jour où vous revenez à Christ. Okay, I want to invite you as well. Je vous invite vous aussi okay. de vous approcher. And uh, vous. and also too, if you just need any physical healing or emotional healing. Si vous avez besoin de guérison émotionnelle. This is also a time for you. C'est le moment. Hallelujah. A time for you to come and to meet with God. Un temps pour vous de venir à la rencontre Hallelujah. de Dieu. Il God will là. open up your hearing. Vous ouvrirez les oreilles. So that you can understand. Pour que vous compreniez, he will touch your eyes il touchera so that you can perceive pour percevoir. Okay, and he will touch the heart il touchera votre coeur. and he will melt away all of the hardness il fera fondre ce and coeur he will endurci. come and heal you today. Il viendra Hallelujah. Vous guérir aujourd'hui. Amen. Praise God. Let's lift 
all lift our hands to the Lord. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, this day we declare war against the spirit of slumber. And we declare in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus that we will no longer tolerate spiritual slumber in our life. God, I will not tolerate spiritual slumber in my life. Together, we will not tolerate it in the church. We will not tolerate it in any cell group. We will not tolerate it in any of the ministries. God, we declare that the spirit that raised Jesus from the dead dwells in us in this moment. And he is here to raise from the dead those who are asleep. In the mighty name of Jesus, we declare that the yoke of slumber is broken. Broken in the name of Jesus. Now I want you just to say out loud in Jesus' name. I break every yoke of slumber. In my life. In the name of Jesus. In my place of work. In my place of prayer. Dans le lieu de prière, in my place of Bible study, dans le lieu biblique, in my marriage, dans mon mariage, dans mon couple, in my family, dans ma famille, I declare today, je déclare, spirit of slumber, de sommeil, leave, quitte, leave now, quitte, leave now, mon and I wake myself up je me réveille, in the name of Jesus. Praise God. Come on, somebody say thank you, Jesus, for that. Amen. Somebody thank God. Somebody thank God today. Hallelujah. 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 So, Father, all of the confusion that comes in, sl in, in slumber, Father, we, we, just, we just blow it away right now. Jesus all confusion right now all confusion leaves it leaves now leaves it leaves your life right now in Jesus name you will no longer be confused knowing the direction of God for your life you will no longer be a boat without a, without a, a, a rudder in the name of Jesus, the confusion lifts off of your life. Spirit of poverty lifts off of your life. In the name of Jesus, uh, accidents. I see many of you having accidents, stupid accidents. Hallelujah. And we break that over your life in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Uh, irritation, irritability, anger. All of these things. Father, these leave now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I also see uh, some of you have been asleep so long, it's like your faith is atrophied. Je vois que pour certains, vous dormez, dormez depuis si longtemps que votre foi est atrophiée. It's, it's like, you know, it's like a muscle. If you don't use it, it, it atrophies. Et qui est coincé quelque part. Okay, and so in the name of Jesus, if, that, if that's you, just put your hand over your heart right now. Father, I speak life over that heart. I speak life over that brother, sister's faith. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I say, wake up, faith. Wake up, faith. Wake up and be strengthened today. Be strengthened today. Be restored today. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, reiki shitara ba 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 se. Oh, the machine na masa. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Okay, we've 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 got I've got I've got to stop. Okay, if any of those uh, things right there just spoke to your heart. Okay. 
uh, and especially if you feel like you are asleep and you need help to wake up. Si vous avez besoin d'aide, okay, vous we're going to close the service now on va and I invite you to come forward, et je vous à vous pray approcher. with one of the leaders avec les and allow God to heal you today. Et à Dieu de vous Hallelujah. He will meet with Parce you today. This is your moment. This is your time. This is your time right now. Don't let it slip between your fingers. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Praise, praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Would everybody just lift your hands? Let me bless you in the name of Jesus. Father, would you bless and keep your people? Would you make your face to shine on them and give them grace? Turn your eyes upon them, O God. Bless them with your peace. In the matchless name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. God did a miracle today. So be blessed and be a blessing. Amen. Hallelujah.